I don't know why I keep pointing. Just pointing all the time. My mom always said not to point. She said, stop pointing. What's up, everybody, and Happy New Year. It's the Weekly Ritual, Ghost Cult's news program, right here on YouTube. Let's get started. First things first, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe right down here at the notifications and find out every time we share a new video, at least three every week. We start to show up this week with some sad news to report as former Pantera relief Chris Reynolds has died. We brought you the news some months ago that Chris was battling bile duct cancer and Chris and his family had started to go fund me, not just to help with medical bills, but to offset the losses to him through his crew work during the pandemic. Pantera social media team shared Chris's plight across all their channels, raising awareness and money for Chris. And we were very sad to learn of his passing this week from the disease. Rest in peace, Chris. In case you missed it, features at Ghost Codes. First things first, this week on the interview front, we talked to Clay and Jared from Hoonie and death metal band Poker Morte. The Midwestern band features members of Eulogy, Wolfhammer, and Skeleton Witch, among others. And we talked to them all about their second album, how they're dealing with the pandemic, since some of those guys are road crew guys themselves and are lacking in touring and work, the progress on new music, and a whole lot more. We also talked to singer-songwriter Lexi Lane all about her career, her recent single and video, entire arc of her career up to now and what she's looking forward to most about 2021 when she hopes to release a full-length record. Right here on YouTube, we also brought you our top 10 books of 2020. We brought you our countdown list and some honorable mentions. Be on the lookout for more content like this right here on YouTube from Ghost Call. And now, the news rundown. Red Alert, y'all! Crosses, the band featuring Chino Moreno of Deftones and Sean Lopez of Far, released a brand new single and video. That's right, Chino recently predicted in an interview we would be hearing some new Crosses music soon. And we did! That's right, they shared a cover of Cause and Effects, The Beginning of the End, which I couldn't remember the name, but there it is, and it is awesome. And we're hoping to hear new music from that project very soon. Hardcore supergroup Dead Cross shared their new music video for their song, Skin of a Redneck, from their EP from 2019. Dead Cross is said to be working on a brand new full-length record to go along with their former record and EP of the same name. Of course, you know Dead Cross features Mike Patton of Faith No More and Dave Lombardo of Slayer and guys from The Locust and Retox who are super excited. New Dead Cross music will be one of the highlights of 2021, should we get it. Just a month ago, we brought you the news that Between the Buried and Me was in the studio working on a new album, and they completed the recording. That's right, get ready for some new progressive metal from Between the Buried and Me. They posted an Instagram post that they were finished recording, and now it's on to the mixing and mastering with their longtime collaborator in North Carolina, producer Jamie King. We are super stoked for some new BT Bam. We're starting to get to the point of the year where we're hearing about all the new projects coming out for 2021. And one that we're very particularly excited about is KK's Priest. That's right, KK's Priest is the band featuring KK Downing, formerly a Judas Priest, along with two other former Judas Priest members, Tim Ripper Owens and Les Biggs, who drummed on a lot of their classics in the late 70s. Super stoked for this new music. We're very excited to see what KK is going to do. He's been talking a lot of shit in the press, as all he likes to do since he left the band. But we're pretty interested to see what he comes up with and what he does. He also claims they're going to do some shows, and they're going to play some Priest classics to celebrate 50 years of Judas Priest. Metallica has announced a new apparel crossover collaboration with Puck Hockey, the awesome Midwestern hockey apparel clothing brand. Those guys have done a ton of band merch before for Slayer, Gojira, Opeth, Anthrax, Rob Zombie, and more. And now they have teamed up with Metallica, or Metallica has teamed up with them, whichever you prefer, whichever they prefer. And we're really excited. There's a cool line of jerseys, hats, zip-up hoodies, and the rest. Personally, I really like the red and black Metallica hockey jersey. Just saying. One of the most underrated bands that we love dearly is Puya. That's right. They've been one of the coolest, most interesting bands of the last 25 years. And they were preparing a new album for 2021. We knew that. We reported that several times on the site. But now they have reunited with lead singer Sergio Curbelo, which means the original Puya lineup is back. And they have a brand new single coming early next year called Potencial. And we're super pumped to hear this new Puya music. Boy and collectible company Agronautics has released a brand new set of throbble heads. That's right, celebrating their Henry and Glenn Forever graphic novels. If you guys don't know about Henry and Glenn Forever, it's a hilarious graphic novel that pits 
Glenn Danzig and Henry Rollins as roommates and maybe a little bit more than just friends. But it's hilariously funny and really beautifully illustrated. And now you can get the Throbblehead dolls. They're going to be limited to only 500 each as most of this kind of merch is. So you definitely want to get on that at the link below. Our homies in Spirit Box shared their third video in a series of three that they created just for Liquid Metal, Sirius XM's Liquid Metal, and Jose Mangan, our buddy. Spirit Box has had a humongous year with new singles and a killer new video and signing with Rise Records and planning their next record out for next year and launching with Betrayon. These guys have been killing it. These videos are awesome. You can check them out right now on YouTube. They rule. Last week, we brought you the boring news about the U.S. government and the stimulus package. Of course, we don't want to talk about that stuff, but what we do want to talk about is the Save Our Stages Act, which the guts of that bill did get cooperated. What we do want to talk about is the Save Our Stages bill, which the guts of which did end up in the stimulus package. So that was approved. Awesome job by everybody who raised money for Save Our Stages, including good guy Dave Grohl of Foo Fighters. That's right, Dave posted a lengthy message in social media all about his feelings about the bill's passage, how he personally helped raise money and awareness for this with the live stream performances, and how vital it is to get these clubs going again, these venues going so that when tours and shows come back, we all can unite and go back to our lives again. So please don't lose the fight just because this money was passed. It's not going to be enough for every venue in America. And it's just a microcosm of the whole touring and music industry. And we're all hurting and suffering. But if you have a way to donate to your local venue and keep it open in the meantime, please help. And good on Dave for helping raise this money and awareness in the first place. Oakland, California's Oxide shared a brand new video and single with Ghost Cult last week, A Platter for Thieves. The track is the first taste of new music from the band's upcoming full-length album and features singer-songwriter Ash Powell. The video is breathtaking, put together from found footage and stock footage, and the song is an emotional journey, and we're really excited about this new Oxide album. In more Pantera news this week, there was a fence erected around the gravesite of the Abbott Brothers' graves. That's right, Dimebag Darrell and Vinnie Paul are buried together in Arlington Cemetery in Arlington, Texas, along with their mother, Carolyn. And fans, you know, flock to this site to pay tribute or respect, but sometimes they get to be a little too much. We've had problems with vandalism in the past. It's not completely sealed off with this fence, but it's a little more protected and a little more secure, I think, for the location. All we want to do is pay tribute and respect. Please, if you're going to the grave site of a famous musician or a beloved entertainer, please show some respect. If you have ghosts, you have everything. Except they just lost their first lawsuit in a long time. That's right, Ghosts have been batting a thousand in all their lawsuits the last few years, but they finally lost one. They lost their case against Ghost Drinks Limited, the British vodka and gin maker, that their ghost vodka infringed on their name and brand. Kind of like that Gene Simmons kiss move right there suing everybody. But Ghost, they lost their case. The Ghost Vodka brand can continue to sell their wares that kind of sound and you know look at the imagery of Ghost, the band and the judge awarded the other brand their lease and license to continue to sell their spirits. I don't know, I don't have an ending for this story, but okay. Bummer, if you're a big Ghost fan, I guess if you like Ghost Vodka in the UK, you can go get it. Heavy metal legend Dee Snyder is in the news again. He's had a major 2020 where he put out his brand new DVD for the love of metal live. We interviewed Dee all about that. Celebrated the 35th anniversary of giving the finger to censorship in the PMRC and a whole bunch of other stuff. And now D is helping Cobra Kai season three. That's right, wax on, wax off on Netflix January 1st. Today, you can watch it right after this show. Anyway, D is helping them count down the days till the show appears. He's super excited. Be excited for more D Snyder stuff and Cobra Kai. I shit you not. Unbelievable stuff you can't make up. Did you know Wonder Woman 1984 director Patty Jenkins was a punk? I didn't either. That's right, but she is. And if you saw the movie, you know that there's a scene where Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor are walking through a mall in Washington, D.C., and they run into a bunch of punks wearing shirts from Bad Brains and Crow Mags. Fans online noticed this, and they mobbed social media to complain that the Crow Mags album, Age of Quarrel, wasn't out in 1984. Everybody knows that. But did you know that Patty Jenkins was close friends with John Joseph, of the original cro singer and the singer of cro JM? He sent her that shirt to put in the movie because she's an old friend of his. She actually got her first job in all of showbiz shooting a video for Leeway through John Joseph. So I think that helps her credibility out. You fans online are herbs. Calm the fuck down. It's okay. 
You can have a shirt in the wrong year. It's not the end of the world because it's not continuity or canon correct. You know what I'm saying? It's cool that a Crow Mags and a Bad Brain shirt got into the superhero movie seen by millions of people this week. Calm the hell down. And now for a look at who rules its streaming. Kid drummer Nandi Bushell, the UK, is back with a new drum cover, Slipknot's Unsainted, and she crushed those double bass drums. It's the first time in her career she's actually done a cover with complicated, continuous double bass, and she slayed it. She even wore her own Slipknot jumpsuit. She had a huge year, become a big celebrity on social media and YouTube, a bunch of covers. She had a big drum off battle with Dave Roll, which he lost to her. So we're really excited about anything she does, and we're looking forward to more stuff in 2021. Since it's Christmas, we also had a lot of Christmas live streams. Devin Townsend had his own Christmas live stream holiday extravaganza that we've been covering for months. It was awesome. He did Christmas songs. He did some covers. He did some originals. He opened presents. He wore a Santa hat. He was amazing. You definitely can't wait for new music from Devi coming out soon. Finally on Who Rules It Streaming, Black Dahlia Murder had their awesome Christmas show, You Lamal which even featured an appearance from George Corpse Grinder Fisher of Cannibal Corpse. The band played some deep cuts and some brutal, brutal Christmas metal. Now for a quick look at some of the music out this week for New Music Friday. January 1st, Black Fang, Goat Born Death Cult, Reaper Metal, Coffins, Depression, Split, EP, Hell and Bangers, Depression, Ara Den Finisterns, Murder Records, The Dirty Nil, Buck Art, Dine Alone Records, Dirty Penguins, The Family, Dust, The Hermit, Imperial Fire, Deliverance, Heavy Gloom Records, Mons Veneris, Mons Veneris EP, Harvest of Death Records, Octavision, Coexist, Octasound Records, Restissimo, Heart of an Inferno EP, The Soviet Machines, The Soviet Machines, DC Jam Records, Pennsylvania, Of Sleep and Death, Invictus Records, Fire. Edict of Iron Ascendancy in Human Assault Records. And now, for a look in our mailbag. This week's mailbag features an oldie but a goodie, my favorite band ever, Pink Floyd, and their live album, Live in 1977 in New York City. That's right, the band, as you can tell from the artwork, and the year, covered animals in its entirety. Crazy. And the awesome new remastered vinyl is on pink vinyl. Crazy. Just for Pink Floyd. Pink. I got this vinyl from Main Street Jukebox in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, one of my favorite record stores in the country, and maybe yours too. Check them out online. You can buy stuff right from them online. And of course, that era of Pink Floyd is my favorite. If you made it to this part of the show, you know what time it is. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and support us. Ghost Cult Magazine is a small business. We're going to send it out this week with a little New Year's message. 2020 was a mess and a hard time for everybody and hopefully better days are ahead in 2021. I just want to send a personal shout out to everybody out there that has supported Ghost Cult at ghostcultmag.com, right here on YouTube, any of our other socials, anything you have done to help support us, we are deeply grateful. Shout out personally to my man behind the camera, Curtis Dunlop, my director, my producer at home, Omar Cordy, our whole worldwide staff at Ghost Cult, everybody, correspondents, photographers, behind the scenes people, everybody that makes this thing happen, thank all of you. And once again, as I always say at this time in the video, it's a tough time in the world. So please take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and stay fucking metal.